Hey guys, uh, recording, um, some Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the, uh, demake for the Bloodstained game, uh, that was kickstarted by, uh, Koji Igarashi, um, who's kind of like the, uh, father of the Symphony of the Night kind of Metroidvania type Castlevania games. Um, he, uh, he had a falling out with Konami and decided to make his own type of game because uh, they kind of gave up on uh, on making the Metroidvania Castlevania games for some reason and decided uh, he had enough and they split ways and he decided to make up his own Kickstarter, which would be Bloodstain, which will be kind of a newer 2.5D graphics uh, Metroidvania game, but with the Kickstarter, they decided to throw in an extra, which is this D-make that plays more like a uh, original um, 8-bit Castlevania game uh, with stages and such. It's supposed to be a homage, kind of a Castlevania 3. Um, but yeah, I finally got my uh, Xbox One code for it. For some reason, they took forever to get to the, the Kickstarters. Um, the game's been out for a few days, and we didn't get up to a few days after. Uh, the Xbox Ones in, in particularly were last to get, but that's besides the point. Um, anyways, since I got it now, I kind of wanted to try playing it. Uh, this is the first... Uh, recording I've done for anything on the Xbox One, so uh, we'll see how it goes, and we'll go from there. Anyways, let's let this opening credit play, and uh, see what this game is like. I've only just briefly played it just uh, just for testing for recording. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it here. But yeah, it's, it's all 8-bit, super NES Castlevania looking. Um, probably some things in here they couldn't do on the NES, but that's besides the point. So yeah, uh, the candles hold all your extras. Uh, right now I have this weapon that goes up in a... That's my sub weapon, it goes off in a diagonal. But yeah, very uh, NES Castlevania old school look to it. From from what I've seen so far, it's it's a. Uh, it's a pretty cool little homage to it. Um, I mean, I'll, I, I don't think you'll ever get perfect being like those old NES Castlevania games where uh, those are kind of revered classics, so it's kind of hard to be on that level, but... Uh, um, I know I can't get to that right now. You get uh, characters later in the game that can, they each have different abil abilities, so, um, I need, I need one of the other characters for that hole in the wall. Those lamps only attack once you jump. But I mean, it's it's so Castlevania. I mean, like even stuff hidden in the walls and um, the music. Oh, music! I was gonna say it almost sounds a little up, a little bit more upbeat to be a Castlevania type thing. But I, I, I guess there was some more upbeat tunes for the Castlevania series. But yeah, it was a, it's kind of a cool little extra. I mean, um, 
what is the the, the company called that helped make this? Like N NT Creates or something like that. Um, and this has already become their uh, just this D make has already become their best selling uh, digital game. Uh, and I think it's selling like hotcakes on the the Switch right now, especially. Uh, this kind of seems like a perfect game for that, to be honest. Be able to take it on the go and that. His, uh, his weapon is definitely quite limited. It's got a very short range on it. Um, kind of makes you miss the whip a little bit. I only kind of know what to do because I have seen some stuff on, on YouTube about kind of what this game is all about, so... I, I am going into it having seen a little bit. Big boss, it's pretty cool. Thanks for making my platform for me. If I don't get out of the way, he'll, sh he'll actually shoot a big thing from the bottom. Out of those now. Ah, can I move out of the way in time? Okay, so he'll pull it back. Oh, right. They all get in one... This, they, they take this kind of like, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, I got lucky. Um, I needed to hide behind that. Uh, they kind of take a page out of Rondo of Blood. For any of those, any of you that have played that, a lot of the, uh, the enemies in Rondo of Blood, like the bosses, they get one last attack in before they die. So this is one of the other characters. So you find more characters as you go through the game. Let's just see what these say. So I can switch whenever. Almost gives you another health bar. She can high jump and slide. So in that spot in the first level there, where I couldn't get through before, I can use her. Typical Castlevania looking uh, map screen. Frigid hell. Anyways, uh, we will end this episode here, and uh, we will keep going from this point. Thanks for watching. Bye.